I, Stephanie Bain, Stephanie Bain, I have a books, books, books. I, I, I'm a book There's just so many books. <laughs> Hello everyone, Stephanie here. Today's video is going to be a top five Wednesday Goodreads group link down below. Said that much better this time. Today's topic is going to be books that I think will end up being classics, right? Future classics. This lip reminds me of the early 2000s when I was a really youngin and I saw those movies and they were, it looked like they were wearing a metallic eyeshadows lipstick. I'm digging it though. There's a thing flying around my room. What the fuck? I have five books here. <laughs> Two of these these are just books that I honestly think whether it's because I love them so much and I see people who do love them I feel that there will be future classic or these are just books that are widely loved by people that I think as in classic in a hundred something years people are gonna be like wow that was some shit okay that's what I'm thinking about because I think of classics you know I think of Jane Austen and Sherlock Holmes books that were written over a hundred years ago so that's my mindset, I'm putting 100 years something to the future. These will be classics. This is in no particular order. I'm just going to start throwing them out there. The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Why do I think this will be such a classic in the future? Such a classic. Why I think it'll be a classic? This book did a lot of things for YA. Yes, Twilight made YA very popular and whatnot. Maybe even Twilight's going to be a classic. There'll be like, it'll probably be the classic that people don't even know why it's a classic, but it just is. But I do feel that Hunger Games will be one because I, at least for me, in terms of dystopian, it is one of the best dystopians I have read in the YA genre in general. Quite frankly, I've, I read quite a few dystopians. This is my dystopian show. And I have some elsewhere. But I don't know. I just feel that it's beautifully written. I think it did really well. And I see people in the future just like gravitating towards this. Maybe it's going to be something that they have to read in school. And they're going to be like, why do you think this was so popular in the, you know, 2008, 2009? I could be wrong. But I really do feel this one to be one. The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. This book came out in 2005 yes 2005 and it is widely known I really liked it I didn't really care for the first half of the book but damn that second half of the book just packed a punch I do think it's beautifully written I think it encompasses a different view of World War II and the things that were going on and the way it's written I feel like it already is a classic in some ways but I do think that this is this is going to be a very unique classic in the future and I think that it will be again read and loved by many or dissected by many and trying to understand what it's meaning i mean it's in the perspective of death for crying out loud harry potter by jk rowling i don't see how this won't be a classic in a hundred years everyone and their mothers absolutely adores this book now granted i don't really care for it but i see this being a children's classic in a hundred something years this is what you know our great grandchildren or grandchildren probably grandchildren will be buying for the you know it's, it's just gonna keep going the next one on my list and these are because i personally think they're fucking amazing and i do think they're gonna be classics outlander by tiana gabaldon this is 27 years old i really do see this being a classic it's gonna be like the jane austen of our generation for them i feel Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm saying it out of line. I don't know. I just think this is going to be popular. People read it. Not everyone loves it, I know, but it does have a huge following. People are going to be like, oh my god, that was so popular back then. I see this being read. I see this being loved. And I see this having like super cool library binding editions. Kind of like my, uh, what is it? Withering Heights. Still smells really awesome. And I bought this over a year ago because it's me. Red Rising. Okay, this story has so many twists and turns throughout the trilogy and the universe is so expansive in this novel and it freaking won best three years in a row for Goodreads. I see this being a classic. I really do. I don't see how this won't any of these books. And I know there's a lot of other books out there that I feel will too also become classics. I'm not even kidding when I say I think Twilight will be one just because of 
like how big it was it's going to be talked about at one point or, or another in the future hundreds of years from now they're going to be talking about very popular books and they're going to be talking about twilight and they're going to be talking about hunger games and harry potter and i feel like it'll just start the buzz all over again because they're you know discussing the book literature and just book literature literature and how it's evolved and changed since the turn of the century and all this other shit I really do think though, going back to this one, this will also be a future classic. Maybe I'm just being hopeful. I hope that people in a hundred something years from now read this and they're like, oh my god, it was so good. And whatever grandchildren I have will have my copies and they'll be like, I have first editions for my grandmother, great grandmother, whatever the hell. That's my guy. This is why people, we should buy physical books. Okay, just throwing that out there. But I really do feel this too will also be a future classic. There's just so many things that happen in this universe and so many things that are going to happen and the way it's written and the way it's just, oh, it's so beautiful. It just is amazing. So those are the books I think will be future classics. You guys can disagree with me down below or agree with me or if you don't think any of these are and you have other ones you think will be future classics, let me know down below because I mean like, that's a hard thing because you never really know what's going to be a classic in the future. You don't know. But comment down below what you think and we can discuss that and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!